So I bring up the subject of Breverick and the Knights Templar Order from the Medieval Times that the news reported and how he demanded a medal in court and he is right about the Islamic occupation of Europe there's many examples of that all throughout history he's also right about the corruption of the Marxist European government which is part of Weishaupt's plan so no matter how you look at it Breverick is one of those people who I say when I say the white man's twist what was the white man's twist? It was him pretending to be a Templar and killing innocent people, demanding a medal for it. And what he is talking about is the symbolism of somebody who believes what he believes, taking that course of action. You know, the I, I believe it was Oslo, where it was a government office and. You know, he had bombs at another site and end up killing about 77 people in total. Okay, so, this is the way I see it. The way I see it is, it goes like this. Part of the movement against the New World Order is orchestrated by people like this. Do I believe that the New World Order trained him to be a killer and to blow up his own people and to say it's part of a cause in order to demonize revolutions absolutely but it wasn't as if they took him to a camp and trained him with you know as far as the camp being specified as such no 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 it was more of a subtle training a subtle mind control what do you call it when we have teachers who are pedophiles telling our children how they should behave and how an how a appropriate person behaves and they're using the lens of a madman of the euro a eurocentric ethnocentric lens in the first place and they're telling you the meaning of your history and the ethical process that you should take they're telling you the definition of harmony and obligation to love your country when i was young we used to do the pledge of allegiance so so you're obligated to live life a certain way love your country and see things their way or they're gonna scrutinize you and give you a hard time and if you make any action toward resistance they're gonna demonize you and they're gonna turn the sympathy away from you by creating these kinds of people it's all about not allowing a revolutionary the means to change the government by demonizing the revolution before it truly manifests itself much less peaks out now of course I condemn the attacks and of course he doesn't deserve a medal but of course the news is completely pig-headed and fucking stupid for implying that he would be wrong Oh, the Muslims didn't invade Europe. The Byzantines weren't getting their ass kicked by the Ottoman Empire. Oh, that has nothing to do with it. Oh, the Moors didn't fucking invade Europe. And sit in that motherfucker until Columbus fucking discovered America. Oh, that has nothing to do with it. Spain, France, parts of Italy, nothing to do with it. Oh, the Muslim, the Muslim exp expansion into Africa is completely unrelated to the Muslim expansion in Europe. No, no, no. L excuse me. Excuse me. I don't know what the hell I'm talking about, but the first thing Muhammad fucking did was started kicking people's fucking ass and taking over shit. How do you think the fucking Arabs took over Egypt? It's called the Islamic expansion into Africa, into Europe, into Asia. Okay? The same way the Nazis are infiltrating our government, is the same way the Muslims are infiltrating into Europe. All this guy is, is one of the factions of the Big Four. He's an agent of the Nazis. The other three are the Jews, the Muslims, and the white Freemasons who aren't Nazis. Those are the major four powerhouses influencing this nation. And if you look at it through just the scope of the white man, 
who wants to steal the knowledge from Africa and say, oh, the Nubians were Arab because we found these tools in the Arabian desert before man fucking even evolved. Before you even had a fucking mutation that would define a man as an Arab, we found the tools in the Arabian desert, so they must be an Arab. Look, you stupid, white, fucking, dumb ass, fucking, Eurocentric trash. I'm sick of your pathetic point of view that I've put up with my whole life. Why was I rising right seven years old and you dumb motherfuckers were wrong, huh? Why don't you use your fucking head and read a fucking book? What the fuck does Cro-Magnum mean? Cro-Magnum man was even after 100,000 fucking years ago. So what the fuck are you talking about? The migration into Europe wasn't 100,000 fucking years ago. Look at the other videos, the charts I show you. There was no fucking... Haplo group of Arabs and white men a hundred thousand years ago, there was only black people, so they were black Nubians, and any fucking Nubian and Arab crossover or any mixing happened in Arabia and stayed there and didn't happen in Africa until 632 fucking AD, around the death of Muhammad, when the next fucking caliphs and Abu motherfuckers started spreading the shit out. Read a fucking history book. You motherfuckers, before any of you would sit in there like, oh, he doesn't know what he's talking about. He made almost 400 fucking videos, but he doesn't know what he's talking about. You stupid, stupid shit. I didn't go to fucking colleges for 10 fucking years, listening to Eurocentric fucking filth and poking holes in their fucking argument, compiling, compiling this fucking information for no fucking reason, you dumb shit. So when I say that my movement isn't some breverick fucking Eurocentric fucking trash bag sleaze ball caucasoid filth fucking demonic occult fucking twist of my ancient ancestor symbols, then you better believe that my shit's the truth. My shit is raw in a fucking sunbeam with no devil perversion on the way. Now, you have to understand that the Aten manifested itself in Africa. When, uh, when Akhenaten spread out the Sun Temple, where was he inspired to go? Did he go to fucking Europe? No. He went deeper into Africa. Remember, Saudi Arabia and Israel used to be part of Africa. So where the fuck did the Jews want their promised land? In northeast Africa, which was split apart by the Red Sea. But when was it split apart by the Red Sea? Think about it. Think about it. What is this land an extension of but Africa? If you were going to compare Israel to being an extension of any continent, what the fuck would it be? Well, duh! Who are they complaining about in the news crossing over the fucking border and sending fucking militants supplying the Palestinians? Egypt! And where the fuck is Egypt? Africa! So what is Israel? An extension of fucking Africa! Just like Saudi fucking Arabia! So, not only are the Nubians not Arab, and there was no Arabs that fucking long ago, not only is Breverick a fucking asshole, but... There's always going to be Templars that pervert the fucking cause. There's always going to be terrorist assholes who demonize the cause. And like I always famously say, you think they haven't done it before. And you think I'm going to let a few pieces of shit stop what I'm doing. Please. Oh, but be reasonable. Be reasonable, my ass. You be reasonable. A bunch of scumbags are still in my history. They're stealing the resources. They're stealing the credit. They're stealing my very fucking mind by trying to give my people prescription pills. They are stealing everything. Even your perception of reality and creating misconceptions. And turning your preconceptions of things into their demonic stereotypes. Because they're a bunch of occult, symbolic bitches. Have to understand how they fucking think. I went to school with these cocksuckers kids. I've seen their fucking parents. I know how they fucking think. You motherfuckers. I've been to school with regular Christians. I've been to school with occult Christians. I've been to school with regular people. I've been to school with cocky, stick up the ass, fucking 1% motherfuckers who make no apologies and say everyone else is rabble who deserves to be subjugated by their monarchy loving fucking bootlicking ass. Understand me when I say they're scum. I'm going to end it right there before I fucking fly to Norway and put my foot up somebody's fucking ass.